So next we're going into the pasta drawer. But I was thinking, how many of you, your kids or your grandkids have brought home those necklaces made out of macaroni or the little angel at Christmas time that you made out of macaroni? All those are fun projects. So let me show you what I did with my pasta. Once you start looking at macaroni and different pastas as a craft medium, you will look at them totally, totally different. I found some of these really cool curly ones in um, an import uh, company. Of course, these are the little shells. There's some penny pasta and also some linguine here. So all of these are what I actually used on my project today. So let me show you what I did. Let me push these aside. And I have a paper mache box. Now keep in mind, you can use any kind of box. It's fun to use um, an old jewelry box, recover a jewelry box or an old box that you might have. This is just paper mache. And I'm using today the quick dry tacky glue because it's lots of fun to make a project and have it where it dries really quick. For the flower on the top, I'm using a just a piece of cardboard from cereal. I cut it into a circle. And it depends again on the size of your box. My large box had a bigger one and this one is just probably about two and a half inches across. So I'm going to take my pasta and just put a line of glue where the pasta is going to touch. Oops. And a little bit too much there. Remember that the glue does dry clear. Sometimes you have to rearrange them so you can get them to fit exactly how you want. So can I fit one more there if I squeeze that out a little bit? And sometimes you can even look for a smaller one. Let's see if a smaller one will fit in there. There we go. Next row, I put them on the edge, the glue on the edge where it's going to touch the cardboard. This is so much fun. Look at this curly one. I love these. Let's see if we can get that to fit right in the middle there. Now, where you have spaces, you can always take these little shells and put them in. Sometimes the tweezers help. Let's see if I can fit one in there. And you set that aside to dry. Then I work on my box. Make sure that doesn't stick to the paper since I had to extend it a little bit. Set that aside to dry. And then we'll work on the box. The sides, we can do the same thing. We can put these little curlies. I 
can change the pattern. And again, make sure that they're going to fit on there. And I did put a little shell, macaroni shell, to fit in. And then the leaf I took one of these like penny penny pastas, put glue on it. And then all around it, shells. Make sure that each one gets into the glue. Oops. And see that one's not going to cooperate, so I'm going to put a little piece, a little bit of glue on that. On I noticed on these little um, shells that they have one edge that curls over and one that doesn't. So be sure you get that glue on that edge that close that goes over. There we go. And that's what I did with the leaf. Now on the background, on the top, I had lots of space left over, and I really didn't want the um, paper mache box to show. So I simply put some glue on and put some of the linguini, linguini right into the, the glue. And I went around everything. And just worked my way up. And I would cut it in order to just break it off when I got to these pieces here. Just break it off. And then, see if this is stuck enough. I would take and put some glue on the bottom of this, put it on the top, let it dry, maybe even put some more shells all the way around this, give it a different look. And it is that simple. And like I said, you are going to want to look at pasta differently, macaroni, those bow, the macaroni bows or the pasta bows are wonderful. And just keep on gluing it on. Now I completely let it dry and then I painted it all white. Now you can paint it any color you want. It's, I've seen it before, I've done it before like in a beautiful gold and done mirrors and then if you want, you can also put like um, some pearls or some um, crystals and make it just exactly like you want. Now on the bottom, if you want it to sit flat like that, that's fine. But if you want it to, to raise it, you would just simply glue some caps on the bottom. And the caps, I just again take my Aline's Quick Dry Tacky. And just put it right on the edge because that's what's going to touch and place it on the bottom. I would remove the label first <laughs> like that. And then you have where it sits up. Isn't that fun? Let's take another look at the finished piece. And you can see all the beautiful um, macaroni and how I placed it and painted it all white. It's a shiny white and just a beautiful piece.